a Wednesday, August 3rd, 2016. Uh, Monaco 64 here, home of alternative uh, economics and contrarian views. i uh, just like to cover the uh, markets this morning. Uh, I'll uh, start with uh, where we are right now. It's 10 a.m. London, so around 5 a.m. New York. Uh, gold is pretty much unchanged at 1364. We've had a range of 1362 to 1367 basically the Dow Jones Industrial Average is down 26 at uh, 18,280 so it is below the uh, all-time high from last year uh, 18,360 or thereabouts so but the S&P is still above uh, previous years uh, last year's high Silver is at 2064, up about three cents. The range has been 2055 to 2075. Uh, Bitcoin, of course, we had a, a big uh, move down yesterday. There was a story about uh, an exchange in Hong Kong that had been hacked, uh, and people were concerned that Bitcoins uh, were stolen. I don't know, but. Uh, Bitcoin really uh, had like a flash crash down to around 475, 475 dollars. Right now it's at 540. I'll talk about the technical picture uh, in Bitcoin later. Um, first of all, uh, I'm going to talk uh, about the technical picture in uh, silver. So, where's my silver chart? One second. So. Uh, this is a weekly long-term chart of silver, as you can see, uh, well, from 2014 to till now. I've spoken about this technical formation earlier uh, in silver in a few, vi few videos ago. It looks like we're trying to break out uh, of the top of the, the flag, the bull flag. And uh, if we can make it through 2115, which is the high on the 4th of July, we could really see silver move easily towards the $23 uh, dollar area. So silver looking good. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but uh, the technical picture looks, looks good. Uh, looking at gold, uh, longer term chart as well, weekly long term chart going back uh, a few years. You can see this uh, trend line uh, is connecting the high of September 2011 at 1921 and the high of September 2012 at 1791. And recently, uh, we've been trading above and below that line as if, uh, you know, people know how important that line is. And now we've broken through that line. It looks definitively uh, like we've broken through it. Uh, and now the next obstacles for gold uh, are basically around 1375, which was the kind of a double top earlier in July, and the 1392 level, which is the March, well, the 2014 high in March 2014. If we if we can break through these two levels, I, I would expect gold to to make a pretty strong move higher. So uh, now on to Bitcoin. Uh, so this is the Bitcoin chart. It's a weekly chart, and uh, you can see the high uh, around 1,200 a few years ago. And uh, you, you can see now the big red spike down, which was yesterday's, yesterday's kind of flat, flash crash. I think we got down to 475. But uh, you can see there's a, like a channel, upward trending channel. And uh, if anything, we just got to the bottom of that channel. This morning, we're back up towards 543. So if anything, it technically it looks like a, a, co a correction uh, that will refresh strength in the market, in my opinion, in Bitcoin. And if you're not trading Bitcoin, you know, it's like holding gold and silver, physical gold and silver. You just keep accumulating it. Uh, you, you buy it whenever you can and you, it averages out over time. So uh, picture in Bitcoin looking pretty good. I know short term looking at it uh, yesterday evening, it looked quite uh, dramatic. But uh, as you can see, uh, still looking uh, constructive longer term.
Bitcoin. So uh, if you enjoyed this video uh, and my analysis, please like, share and subscribe. Uh, you can also donate to my channel via the links uh, below in the description. You can donate to Patreon or you can donate uh, in Bitcoin as well. Uh, we accept Bitcoin. Thanks for watching. Bye.